Uh, this video clip is about uh, the San Francisco session of the Great Initiation. The Great Initiation is an experience that I will provide to people in a live format because the live is the best one. It will not substitute my video presentations or my audio presentation. The live is the most important one because, because I have an energy, you have an energy and then there is interaction. And that's important. <laughs> so for each uh, of the locations, San Diego, San Francisco and uh, LA, uh, I'm doing a different session. The common session will be the initiation part to peel away the mind, the body and uh, the ego. But then there is also another uh, teaching that I will do that will be appropriate for that particular location. For San Francisco, which is on the uh, August 5th, I thought that I would do uh, a session on God and science. Because this is a great topic that I like very much. Because uh, Einstein uh, made a, a final statement in his life where science ends, their religion begins. He was intensely religious and intensely scientific. The reason why he was not able to even move into quantum physics and stayed with uh, classical physics is perhaps, I think, is due to his uh, overemphasis on God because he said God doesn't play dice with the world then he wanted to stay, decided to stay with the classical physics. But he also said science is lame because it doesn't have a great methodology without religion. And religion is blind without science because it can lead to superstition. So we all have that problem within us. Where is uh, science and where is God? Okay, and then we cannot leave everything to God. We've got to really take control of things. Nor can we leave everything to science because science doesn't have the answer for everything. So the, this uh, dichotomy that we have created uh, psychologically is a, a false one. God is supreme. Science is not out of the domain of God. And it all depends upon how you define God because that's the problem. Because everybody has their own God, this my God is the best God and your God is a cultic God, you belong to a cult. And he doesn't, and your God doesn't know as much as my God knows. Well, this is not God, okay? This is your own fanatical uh, attitude. So God, even a go to, Einstein says, is the super intelligence. So you have to understand by God, there are beings who have graduated uh, while they were living on this earth plane and went into another realm. There are different galaxies and there are, uh, there are different beings living there. And uh, you have to understand how to benefit from that. When, you know, people, the Harvard people, like, have been uh, interested in this forever, uh, starting from uh, the Harvard Truck Project, where these people, uh, like uh, uh, Ram Das, who became a Swami, you know, was a Harvard scientist who went to see uh, Nim Karoli Baba and and Bill uh, Steve Jobs, uh, following those Harvard uh, people, also went to India to find this guy. You know because uh, they and, and Steve Jobs also <laughs> pays a glorious tribute to India. I learned in India what I have not learned in the United States, because that's about a different state of consciousness which harmonizes everything. So what I will be doing there is a teaching and also some techniques to explore that. That was the program that I will do in uh, San Francisco. Particularly this will be useful for people who are just simply 
secularizing all these techniques and then say mindfulness is everything. People don't even understand what mindfulness is. And it came from the Buddhist tradition and Buddha, you know, just uh, ignored a lot of things that uh, will not come under uh, either psychological or parapsychological or even though he called it, it's, it's nirvana or emptiness. You can benefit from a lot of other things about God as understood by the Egyptians and the, and, and the, uh, and the Jewish prophets to down to Jesus Christ. That will be an interesting session. It will be exciting. I invite you to attend the session in San Francisco. God bless.